Mistakes, I mean, some people might think these are just boneheaded or simple, but I mean, I've seen experienced sellers do it. So, so again, the, the, the one thing we already mentioned is making sure that, you know, you're not just using, relying on your own knowledge to, to, to put keywords. The other thing is you might have the best keyword research ever, and then you don't, you don't actually put them in your listing. You know, so like, mm. like what in the world are you like, you did all this research and then you just, uh, what, assume that Amazon is going to index you for this keyword, you know? <clears throat> Another mistake that some people do is is not putting their most important keywords in phrase form. And, and the most important keywords usually is not that many. You know, you'll get a good 80% of your sales, if not more, from like 10, 15 keywords. Now, you still don't want to neglect all the other hundreds of, of potential keywords, but but the big majority of your sales is going to come from a core number of, of keywords. And it's important to have those in phrase form because when you first start your listing, it's going to help you <clears throat> once you get interaction with those keywords – you're going to get be able to rank a lot faster for it as opposed to if if Amazon's just piecing together these phrases from different parts in your listing you know like like if, if the uh the words is hydrolyze collagen peptides you know you, you got collagen in your title hydrolyzing your bullet points and and peptides in your description sure you'll you'll be indexed for it but Amazon might not view you view you as very relevant because that that keyword's not in in phrase form so that's important another 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 thing that that people uh make a mistake on it is they think keyword research stops once your listing is live. Like I'm mm. good. I'm good. You know, a perfect example of this I saw was, was this trending product. And and I think it actually might've turned out to be an adult product, but whatever it was, it was something that just got invented like three years ago. Right. So at the time they did what they were supposed to do. And they looked at their initial keyword research. And the number one keyword was blank, blank, whatever this product was. If I remember the word, I probably couldn't even say it out loud, but uh, <laughs> blank, blank for beginners. It was something like, you know, 15,000 keyword. And then there's just the core keyword, the blank, blank part was, you know, like 5,000 because it was some new trend or something. Right. So, so they did that and then they kept going and then they, they came to me a year later, like, man, my sales keep going down and down and down. I was like, well, have you, have you looked at, you know, the keywords uh, because things, things change as far as trends. And, and they said, no. So when we looked at it again, that, that blank blank for beginners was, was now only like maybe 2000 search volume. And then all these other keywords had, had uh, come up like the main keyword. Now, all of a sudden that was the number one one. And then the, the, there's these new ways that people were using this product and these develop or these uh, made other keywords. And then those were all had search volume. Some of those they didn't even have in their listing. So you know, I'm not saying, hey, guys, do keyword research every single week and, and redo your listing. No, you actually shouldn't do that. That's going to mess up your your listing. Sometimes that, that screws up the Amazon algorithm. But, you know, every, every few months, you know, do do a deep dive into your keyword research. Look at what you're converting for. Look at what your competitors are converting for. And I guarantee every single time you do that, there's probably going to be a couple keywords that you didn't even realize were relevant to your listing that maybe have just popped up. And then, yeah, go ahead and, uh, you know, stick those in your listing. Just make sure when you do that, you're not taking away things that um, that are important for your your listing. Like maybe your number one keyword is 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 coffin shelf, and like ah, I'm gonna take that off and replace it with a uh, gothic decor or something. You know, you don't want to de-index you uh, for anything, but but definitely add uh, keywords down the line that uh, that are relevant for your listing. Don't make that mistake that other sellers do, where they think, oh, the journey's over. You know, once my listing's live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.